Hello, everybody. Welcome to Gamble with Jimmy. We're going to do a fun strategy uh, on Baccarat where we're going to play uh, a $10,000 profit challenge. So we're going to start with the $10,000 buy-in. Uh, for those of you out there, to be quite honest with you, uh, if you were to try to play Baccarat, let's say with $1,000, it's very possible that you can turn 1000 into 10000 so you don't really need 10,000 to make 10,000. Um, it's just a buy-in when you become a professional at it and you make a living at it. Uh, 10,000 is pretty typical um, for you to have to play Baccarat, but it can be done with 1,000. So I don't want to discourage you if you only have 1,000 to gamble with. Um, you could get yourself in some trouble though. It could backfire because you don't really have a lot of money to bail yourself out to get a victory. But that doesn't mean the session won't go great. Uh, you could easily turn the 1000 into 2000 and then you now have 2000 to make it a little easier. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and start day one. So my, uh, you guys know that I do daily Baccarat videos. And as a matter of fact, um, the poll, I put out a quiz poll to all my subscribers. And it was for which videos do you like best? Roulette, Baccarat, or Craps? And the winner was Craps by 1%. Uh, Craps was 41%. Baccarat was 40%. And I was surprised that Roulette only got uh, like 17%. So I was very surprised by that. So, but Baccarat doesn't surprise me and Craps doesn't surprise me. But I actually thought that it was going to be, this is what I thought. I thought it was going to be um, Roulette first, which came in last. So that surprised me. I thought it was going to be Roulette. And then I thought it was going to be Baccarat. And then I thought it was going to be Craps. But it actually was the opposite. It was Craps number one. And I think it was craps number one because most of my subscribers come from my craps videos because they're like live and they're tutorials where there's more action and, and um, I make, uh, I'm probably one of the best craps players. So I think it probably comes from that. But I, uh, my Baccarat play, um, there's a lot of people who really understand how strong Baccarat is as a game if you can learn it so uh, and I'm really good with Baccarat too so craps and Baccarat are my two best things and and craps I mean in in uh, roulette is more of a luck game but you can still use the money management and certain strategies that will help okay so let's get started so this is going to be labeled as the ten thousand dollar challenge day one and then we'll go tomorrow will be day two, day three. So you can watch this particular series to see how long it's going to take us to get $10,000. How long will it actually take to make $10,000? Now, this simulation that we're playing on, guys, there's no difference between this and the real casino. There's none whatsoever. Um, I play both all the time. And every time I'm playing for real... I don't see a difference. You know, it's sometimes it's a challenge in the simulation more than it is when I'm at the casino. Uh, so it, it there's no difference in the way that the game plays. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, let's take a look at the shoe. Okay, so um, we're obviously going to go here with the chop play, but we're going to... We're going to... Do, let's do this with this particular shoe. Every time that one wins two in a row, we'll play the winner. Other than that, we'll play the chop. Okay, let's go ahead and start off with Banker. We're on a $25 table. Okay, we got a win. Okay, let's go with the chop. We'll go player. Okay, we're going to lose that one.
All right, let's go 50 bucks on Banker because Banker is starting to do a run. So every time it's two, we're going to go with the winner this time. Just because the way this board is going, you have some drops here. So we'll, we'll just uh, uh, do chops, but every time two in a row, we'll go and start. And maybe we can catch a run like this where we'll get all these wins. So let's go 50 bucks on Banker. Okay, so Banker's going to win. And let's stay on it. Let's reduce our bet to a quarter. Okay, so we're going to lose that one. We'll go with the chop here. 50 on the chop. Winner, winner. Okay, 25 on player. Okay. Okay, so let's stake with the winner now. Do 50 on banker. Winner, winner. Okay, we're up $91. We're going to stay with the winner. Just for a quarter. Okay, we're up 115. We'll stay with the winner. Okay, that's a tie. Let's just repeat it. Okay, so we're going to lose that one. Let's go with the chop. Let's go banker for 50. <clears throat> Okay, so we got two in a row for player. So let's switch to player. Let's do 100 on player. Okay, we're going to lose that. Okay, let's go back to the chop. Let's just do, uh, let's do just, let's see something here. Let's do a quarter on player. Okay, we got that win. Okay, let's go back to Banker for the chop. Quarter on Banker. There's a winner. Okay, let's do the chop. So we don't, right now we haven't seen anything um, that we can really bet bigger yet. So you just have to be patient and wait for a perfect spot. So right now, we're going to go with Banker. We'll do 100 on Banker. Okay, that's a tie. Let's just repeat it. Okay, we're going to lose. Okay, let's go 100 on the chop. There we go. There's a winner. Okay, let's go 50 on the chop. There we go. All right, so we got our money back. We're back in profit. Okay, let's go 25 on the chop. Okay. Same thing. Okay, we're going to lose that one. Okay, let's go with the winner. Okay, let's go 100 on banker. There we go. There we go. We're at 102. Let's do um, 50 on Banker. There we go. There we go. We're up 150. Okay. Let's do a quarter on Banker. Okay, we're going to lose that one. But see how we laddered it down? on our bet sizing after we were after we won 150 so we won 150 and we only lost a quarter so uh that's smart okay so let's go ahead here and do a chop but just for a quarter okay 
Okay, let's stay with the winner. Let's go 50 on player. There we go, there we go. Okay, same thing, but reduce your bet to a quarter. Okay, we're going to lose that one. Okay, so let's go with the chop. Let's go a quarter on player. Ooh, we got a tie, 9-9 nine, nine tie. There we go, there we go. Okay, we're back to our 150 profit. I think that's the largest profit we've had so far. So let's go to the chop. It's a steady shoe um, going kind of back and forth, but that's fine. Let's stay with the winner. Let's go 50 on the winner. Okay, we're going to lose that one. Let's go with the chop. Go with the chop for 100. No, I don't want to go with 100. 100 is too risky here. It's too risky here because there's so many ones that are keep, you know, dropping. So the first one here will go player, but we'll just do a quarter. Yeah, it's a good thing we didn't do 100. Okay, we'll go with the winner now. Do 100 on the winner. I'm more confident on that. There we go. Okay, we're still maintaining that 150. Let's stay with the uh, winner. Ooh. Tell you what, though. We're doing good money management here on this shoe because... Every time that we win, we reduce our bet and we'll keep losing that second bet. So we're still up 120. Um, it's not giving us really a situation where I would feel comfortable with a three or four hundred dollar bet yet. Um, so we're just going to keep grinding. Uh, we'll play the chop again. Okay, there we go. Play that chop. Okay, we're gonna lose. Yeah, let's go with the winner now. Let's go fifty on I mean a hundred on banker. There we go, there we go. What are we at now? Two thirteen. There we go. Two thirteen. Okay, let's go quarter now. Let's reduce it and stay with the winner. Okay, perfect. 237. Stay with the winner for a quarter. Okay, another winner. 261. Same thing. All right, so we're going to see an opportunity here coming up for player, okay? So we should we should be able to make 500 today based on the way that I'm seeing this play out. So we should walk with 500. So um, let's go ahead and keep doing the grinding on the uh, banker winner. For only a quarter. Okay, let's just keep going. Okay, it's going to come to an end. We're at 260, okay? All right, now those of you that are out there that need to build the bankroll, just take the 260 and run. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to take advantage of this situation here. We have a banker shoe. This is clearly a banker shoe. All these are banker, bankers, bankers, bankers. Banker is the one that's dropping. So as a matter of fact, if you look up here, you'll see 35 wins and player only has 21. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually go with the player. Okay, here's why. It's late in the shoe. Okay, you're at about the 78% mark. And we're going to try to run with one win on player. And we're going to bet pretty big. Now, if if um, Banker wins two in a row, we'll switch to Banker. Okay? But I think we could get... I think we're going to get one win here out of the next two. That's, that's what I think. Okay. It usually happens about 90% of the time in this situation. Okay, so we're going to go 500 on player. Okay, so we're going to lose. Okay, so it's switched back to banker. 
but I'm going to give it one more chance here with a thousand dollar bet. Here we go. And there we go, guys. That's exactly what I predicted. $760 were up. Okay, so what we're going to try to do now is just grind a little more for small bets. Uh, we're going to go back to Banker. Okay, so here's, here's actually what we're going to do. This is actually what we're going to do. I think we can get, I, I told you that I felt we were going to win $500. we are at $760. But now I'm telling you I think we're going to win $1,000. Okay, because it's a Banker shoe. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this off and we're going to see if player can win a couple more. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, let's see if bank, a player can keep winning. Okay, so it goes back to banker. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and say that banker is going to win one out of the next three. One out of the next three. If player wins two in a row, we'll stop. So we're going to go 100 on Banker. There we go. We got the first one. We're at 855. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're only going to do a quarter here on Banker to see if Banker can go on another run. Okay, that's a tie. Let's just repeat it. Okay, we're going to get that win. 878. We're going to stay on the winner. We're going to win again. We're going to stay on that winner. Okay, so the win, the win is over with. We're at 877. Okay. So, let's, we don't want to end with 877. That's a weird number. Okay, so let's go, let's, let's take this one off. Okay, player wins. Ooh, that's a, that's a $1,200 win we just got. $25 on Blazing 7. That pays 50 to 1 right there. A two-way tie 7. Okay, so as you can see, player is on a run here. Okay? So what we're going to do, let's, let's let player run. Let's let player run. Okay, goes back to Banker. Okay? So let's do the same thing and stay with Banker. And see if we can get one more win. We'll go 100. Okay, we're going to lose. We're going to go 200. And there we go. 967, guys. We need... We need um... Okay, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and do... Let's, let's take this one off. Okay. Repeat. Banker keeps winning. Banker keeps winning. Banker keeps winning. Okay, so player one. Okay. All right, guys, let's do this. Let's try to get one player win. Okay, let's go. 25 on player. Hmm. Okay, that's the end of the shoe. Okay, let's go ahead and just take the money. 942. We're going to just take the money, guys. We finished the whole shoe, which we usually don't do. Um, but we got $942 victory. That was day one. So we're, we got about 10% of our goal. Okay, so we'll come back tomorrow for day two. So tune in for the series and uh, let's see what we can do. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button and uh, send me a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, and.